All right, y'all, so I'm in Dallas right now, headed to Vegas. Be honest with y'all, never been to Vegas before. I heard a lot of good things besides one thing, y'all. There's bed bugs everywhere. If you're traveling to Las Vegas, beware of bed bugs. Normally, I book a hotel. I haven't even booked a hotel, bro. I might trap it out the whole entire night because I'm not trying to get bit up. You ever got bit by bed bugs? Hell no. What you about to get? Chick fil A. I used to get like Whataburger so much. Why don't you get that? I don't want that. I'm not getting breakfast right now, y'all. I'm not going to get Whataburger. I'm not going to get Chick fil A. None of this stuff. You see. Y'all, Shorty crushed her Chick fil A. Tell them what you got. A spicy chicken biscuit. It's my first time. I wasn't. So good and fresh. So, what's the best places to eat in Dallas? Little World, Big Daddy's, and Papa's Marcus. Yeah. Y'all better come you to Dallas. It? And, you know, it's fun. It's fun. Lit. <laughs> We look at over. We got a beach. Oh, y'all got a beach out we here? Most, most likely got a lake, but we ain't. We just out here to eat food. Okay, y'all. Well, y'all gonna get y'all gonna be some fat motherfuckers. Yo, you think I'm gaining weight? Shake, shake. Shit, ain't no problem with gaining weight. I'm trying to gain weight. Y'all come see us at the airport. We look. She got the Gucci on, faking on them. Let them know what you doing. Oh, she trying to hide. She trying to run away. All right, y'all. So we on the second plane right now. We headed to Vegas. You ever been to Vegas before? Have not. First timer? Yeah, first time. Me too. Look, my man, he's going to Vegas too. I hear they got brothels out there. You know what that is? Yeah. Look, prostitution is legal. My man, he might go do something. Who knows? You plan on doing that? Probably not. All right, y'all, so we just landed in Vegas. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm tired as heck, bro. Like, the time difference is crazy. Like, right now, it's like two o'clock in Maryland. Here, it's like 11 o'clock. I'm exhausted, ain't gonna lie to you. It's packed like a mug in this gym. As soon as you get off the plane, they got some games, bro. Like, they trying to take your money off rip. You see it? Hey, I already told y'all in Atlantic City, I ain't a gamer, bro. I don't be doing it. It's a waste of money, it's a scam. I'm here for the good food. That's what I'm looking for. You about to get some gambling in? No, I don't know how to do that. Oh yeah, these boys ain't playing. As soon as they get off the plane, they sitting down throwing money in that junk. Little do he know, he about to go home broke as he you. So we grabbing a rental car right now. And since I chose the rental car in Houston, Shayla gonna choose the rental car this time. We Whatever you want, what you gonna get? I don't know, we gonna see what they got. Whatever she want, y'all. Let's see what she decides to grab. Y'all, she walking over to this right here. I wasn't too too cheap today. I got a Challenger. I was gonna get the Audi, but these got like it's a little dark on the inside. People can't really see us. So, you know. All of a sudden, she don't want to be frugal. Only reason why she doing this is because I said you can decide today, bro. I'm thinking she gonna grab a Honda, and she wanna grab this. But then when I say I wanna grab something like this, she be like, oh man, you should have got the Buick. So here go a look at the whip. You messing with the whip? Um, it's alright. All right, y'all, so now that we in Vegas, I'm about to go grab some lunch because I haven't eaten yet. I'm starving right now. And a lot of people, back when I was in Colorado and I tried these blueberry wings, endless people was telling me I had to go to Vegas and try a place called Smoking Fire. They got a blueberry chicken sandwich. This was way back in like May or whenever I went to Colorado, bro. And I love them blueberry wings. So right now I'm headed to Smoking Fire and we gonna see what's up with this blueberry chicken sandwich. All right, y'all, so I just pulled up to the smoking fire, and I'm not going to lie, like, I'm really looking forward to eating this right now. I went on TikTok. I seen a lot of people reviewing this. Even Keith Lee reviewed it. Keith Lee said this was a 10 out of 10. I'm like, bro, he said this on a 10 out of 10. I know this on bus. And then now, like a robbery, I got that blueberry chicken sandwich, y'all. Like I said, I'm looking forward to this right now. I'm starving, too. I ain't eat all day. All right, y'all. I'm gonna pop this baby open. Off rip, looking at the fries. They look like some super crispy fries. The fries is looking top notch. And they got a seasoning salt on them. Woo! They hot. Hot fries, crispy fries, seasoned up real nice. I love a good fry. And this right here, yeah. Do what it do. As y'all see, this chicken sandwich is looking crazy. The blueberries are looking immaculate. Nice and cheesy for the chicken. Chicken is crispy under there. We got some pickles under there. Last year, I would question blueberries on chicken. 
But everything changed when I went to Denver. Everything changed. Blueberries on chicken. Holy fuck. I, 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 I DM those people in Denver and I'm like, yo, can I pay extra and you can ship me those wings? He said, we'll see what we can do. They ain't never hit me back, bro. That's how bad I want them wings, bro. Them wings was torch. Top notch in Denver. So I'm really looking forward to this blueberry chicken sandwich, y'all. So all you taste is blueberry. And whole time, those wasn't pickles. Those jalapenos. Those jalapenos on there. <clears throat> I know from the spice. I was like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That, that, that ain't a pickle. That ain't a pickle. That's a jalapeno. The chicken sandwich is extremely sweet, y'all. Like, I was thinking that the chicken sandwich was gonna be like a little bit spicy or something like that. No. It just tastes like blueberry, straight up blueberry, but it's good. You know, like. Mm. That blueberry is something else. Mm. Nice size chicken patty. It's nice and crispy. They didn't skip on the sauce. Where's like blueberry mayo or something? They got this like blueberry, this pinkish sauce underneath of this junk. They ain't skint with it. It's extremely juicy. The fries crispy. It's a W. Keith, Keith Lee wasn't lying. Last time I tried one of Keith Lee's Jones, he said the chicken fire was trash. I went to chicken fire, chicken fire was busting. So, me and him, we disagree with that one. But this right here, he, he ain't capping. It's gonna bang. All right, y'all, so I wanna elaborate a little bit on the sandwich. The sandwich is good, like, I like the sandwich a lot. However, it's too sweet. Like, the blueberries hit, but once you eat, like, half of the sandwich, like you start getting nauseous because how sweet it is. So if you don't like super sweet chicken sandwiches, you're not gonna like it. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, you're not gonna like it. I like it because I, you know what I'm saying, I got a sweet tooth sometimes, sometimes I like sweet food, you know what I mean? But like, it's a sandwich that I gotta be in the mood for and I can't, I couldn't eat this every day. You know what I mean? Like, certain sandwiches I could eat every day, like the spicy ones, but this one, this one was entirely too sweet. It was almost like a dessert. Like the first, the first, when I first started eating it, bro, I haven't eaten all day. I'm like, oh yeah, this is on banging, this is on banging. Halfway through, I'm like, bro, this is a little too sweet. I'm about to, I'm about to throw up eating this zone. But other than that, it's good. It's, it gets a solid eight out of 10 for me. Eight out of 10. It would get more if it wasn't just too sweet. So right now I'm pulling up to a place called Area 15. Apparently it's supposed to be like Area 51. Super trippy. And the reason why I'm going here Apparently, it's owned by the same people that own that weird-ass, satanic-ass museum that I went to out in Colorado. And I was just like, bro, I'm never coming here again. When I heard about this spot, I'm like, bro, I got to check it out. So we just checked in with security. And how you feeling, dog? Pretty good. How you doing, hey, dude? what's in there, man? Uh, we got a couple attractions, a couple bars. Is it trippy? Uh, a little bit, a little bit, yeah. It's pretty dope, though. Bruh, I'm nervous, bruh. Let me know how it is, brother. Hey, I'm going to. Y'all, remember last time we seen some Pizza Gate type stuff, bro? Off rip, they got the horns on this joint, red. So as soon as I walk in, I'm already feeling the same exact vibes that I was feeling in Denver, bruh. So I just walked into a Mega Mart. Apparently, it's like a grocery store, you know what I'm saying? Everything they got in here is for sale. Like, is this actual butter? Butter is light. Remember that. You heard what she said. What is butter? Butter is life. So saturated fat is life. Yes, and corn. Don't forget corn. But I thought that corn and butter was bad for you. No, no, no. It's good for you. Don't you understand? It's lies told you by other grocery stores. You like Whole Foods? They're owned by Jeff Bezos. You shouldn't listen to anything they say. Jeff Bezos is a big, dirty liar. We at Omega Mart are the best. We have used our employees, but at least we let them pee once a year. This place is fucking trippy. So basically the Omega Mart, it's just like a grocery store, you guys. But it has like all these like subliminal messages and stuff like that in it. Like I swear this right here is like a subliminal message, y'all. The fact that it has like a pill on it and it also has an umbrella. 
I feel like it means like medicine be helping y'all with y'all rainy days and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? It's talking about addiction. That's what I think. I think it's deeper than what they say it is. See in the meat section, it says spoiler alert right here, y'all. I think that's referring to the fact that y'all be eating spoiled meat and y'all don't even know it. Bro, we literally just walked into the soda machine. And it's starting. Bro, what are they doing in here? I know like they praying or something. I don't want to go in there. Shayla said she don't want to walk in there. I don't want nothing jumping on me. She don't know if they're doing like witchcraft or something. Look. It's wild the fact that the grocery store led us to all of this, bruh. And more like subliminal shit. I don't know what it is with like deserts, bruh, like Colorado and like Nevada and stuff like that. But they have all this satanic stuff in the middle of the desert. It's wild. So this is another infinity room it looks like. You hear an echo in it. It's got like some weird, I don't even know type of shit in it. Bruh, I feel like this place got like a hidden meaning to it. They got like all these like eyeballs everywhere. You see like them talking about missing people. The last place I went to had like all this pizza and stuff like that. Talking about Pizzagate. Like, I really, really, really feel like the elites, they designed this place, bro. Like, I'm, I'm being serious. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. Like, look at that behind me, bro. What is that? <laughs> so they also got a barn here. Shayla and I, we gonna come in here, we gonna grab a margarita real quick. So I'm gonna grab the Omega Rita right here, y'all. It sounds pretty good. Y'all know I like margaritas and I didn't see a margarita on the menu. I seen an Omega Rita, so we gonna try that. So here go and look at the Omega Rita. According to the bartender, the salt around the rim is extremely spicy. I ain't about to use it anyway. Oh yeah, it's pretty good. It's good. You should, you should try one. Look, let me tell them something. Come here, come here, come here. I don't want to drink because every time I drink, my stomach hurts and I got to shit and I already have to shit. And I just don't have time because I don't have a bathroom to go to. So, I'm trying to wait. Mm. I must say, this will make a read a bust. Definitely a 9.5 out of 10 concoction. You know what I'm saying? The thing is, I'm kind of worried about having to use the restroom too because we didn't book a hotel. We're about to pull an all-nighter, y'all. There's bed bugs in the hotels. You see what I'm saying? I'm not, about to, I'm not about to stay in one of those, get bit up, and then bring them home. You kidding me right now? I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to pull an all-nighter. 24 hours in Vegas. So the bartender said that this flower right here, it makes your tongue go numb. Like some crazy effect, bro. Let's try it. And my tongue is like burning. Yeah, my tongue has like a real, a real crazy like tingling effect to it. It's hot. It's crazy, isn't it? It really is. What do you think about it? I think it makes your mouth feel really tingly, almost numb, kind of sour, kind of spicy. Yeah. yeah. I can't describe it. <laughs> but it's awesome. <laughs> what's, what's the flower called? It's called a buzz bomb. A blood bomb? Buzz bu or a buzz button. A buzz, a buzz button. button. Yeah, buzz button. So we're just sitting at the bar. I already drank my two drinks. And I'm ready to get on with the night. But grandma over here, she's been drinking that drink for the past 45 minutes. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. You ain't even sip none. So there was this guy in the bar, bro. I swear he was pimping, bro. He had these two broads with him. He had his arm around both of them. He started talking to me. Next thing you know, both of his broads making out with each other. I'm like, Zah! hey, what was that dude and his broad doing? Oh my God, they was like making out with the, the broads was making out with each other. I don't know. He about to have a good stay out Everybody. here, y'all. See what this room is. Oh, this is the bathroom. 
Oh, what's well, shorty doing in the bathroom with me? I have to shit. Get out, so Shit can get real trippy in here. I have you to, like, to, I'm about to shit myself you know, shit right get now. Trippy in I here? have to use the bathroom so bad. Even the bathroom trippy. It is. Rattlesnakes start jumping in this jump. I don't want to be in here. Let me get up out of here. I ain't about to do nothing crazy. Phew, you smell that? Yeah, you farting, bro. Stop being nasty, bro. What's going on in here, man? Hey, they got some weird, crazy stuff going on in this area of 50, whatever it is, 15. You hear the phone ring, you gonna answer the phone? Man, hold on. Hello? Who this? Morpheus? He asked if I want the red or the blue pill. What pill you gonna take? Man, I'm taking the blue pill, bro. Viagra? <laughs> that might work. So how was your shit? People gonna walk in, it's gonna smell trippy in there, ain't it? All right, y'all. So I just walked outside of the Omega Mart, y'all. I had to get up out of there. It was way too trippy once again. When she went in the bathroom, she said that like all of these like spiritual rituals and demonic songs was playing, dog. I'm like, bro, I don't feel like listening to Doja Cat right now. I'm getting the hell up out of here, bro. Bro, I seen a Loaf video, right? Loaf got kicked out of here for trying to steal this chicken right here. Come on, Loaf. This chicken right here, bro, it's off limits. You can't mess with that chicken. You see where it's at? It's back. And it's tilting. It's tilting. Come on, Loaf. Leave the chicken alone, Loaf. The chicken belongs in Area 15. Damn, it's bright when you walk outside. But look, y'all, like the Meow Wolf, it was cool. But I feel like it's not as trippy because I've been to the one in Colorado. Colorado was super trippy. This ain't ass like crazy. You feel what I'm saying? I mean, folks was in there lunching and stuff like that. But like, it just wasn't the same. Like, I wasn't surprised at all the stuff that I was seeing because I already know they weirdos, bro. Like, the people that go there, the people that work there, they weirdos, bro. I was expecting some weird shit. So I wasn't like nicked up, if that makes sense to y'all. But yeah, we out of here right now. How'd you feel about the Meow Wolf? It was just like the other one. Just like the other one, a little was, bit trippy. It was, it was all right. Yeah, it was all right. The best part was probably the bar, that's about it. 